Yeah, hello. I'm here in front of our uh, 3-axis gantry robot and uh, what you see here is um, our full setup. So that means that we don't have only the gantry robot, we also have here the production itself. So that means we have here our conveyor belts and our um, IMS uh, production stations. Um, for example here for the um, bottom parts, the top parts and the bolts, that means that we produce here a full complete workpiece. In the first step we don't want to program the full production line, we want to start only with the gantry robot. That means we only have the gantry robot and we control this gantry robot with an external PLC and also with a touch panel. So for the first steps to learn the basics about the gantry robot we use only the gantry robot as standalone machine and a PLC and a touch panel which is external connected via Profinet with this gantry robot. So and then we start only with the gantry robot then we can program the first steps move only in one axis, move in two axis and so on. Or what we can do also is that we learn to, uh, to do some pick and place projects or do a stacking. Yeah, these are the projects from the overlay mass. In the next step or what we can do in the first step is we control this gantry robot manually and this we do with a touch panel. This touch panel is connected to the PLC and the PLC is connected here to the gantry robot and now we can move it manually. We have here one mask in the touch panel that we can control one axis or two axis at the same time and we can do here this that we can position we can position here the axis for example in the x, x axis or y axis and we can um, set here the position where we want to go. For example now the gantry robot is in the position 250 millimeters and we want to move it now in the position 100 millimeter. That means in the touch panel I choose here the value for the x axis 100 millimeters and press on go to this position and then the axis go to this position. That's the first step. In the first step we move fast in this position 100 millimeters and now we can do the tuning, the fine tuning and position in this axis by tipping here the buttons and to move slowly to the position we want to have. If we have this position defined then we can save this position and in this way we can program it that we have here the pick and place positions, the four pick and place positions where our conveyor belts are and where the carriers are on the conveyor belt. From these positions we can take the workpiece bring it to the other station and place it there. In the next steps, so that means we had here our gantry robot as a standalone machine. In the next step we had our overlay masks with the projects. Now the next step is that we connect here our conveyor belts. That means we take our gantry robot which was standalone on the table and position it now here on the carriers and in the next step also here with our um, IMS stations. Normally it is possible that everything is controlled by the PLCs which we have here in our system. We have PLCs here at the conveyor belts, yeah? here a PLC for this conveyor belt, here a PLC and so on and we also have a PLC for the full system which is there. Everything can be controlled by these 
PLCs, but what we have now here is that we have also a controlling which is over the PLCs, we have an ERP lab. This ERP lab has an ERP system and a MES and this MES controls here the production workflow. How to do this? Now we want to let it produce now. That means I go here to our webshop, our open card webshop, and then I can order two workpieces. I can order now a workpiece with bolt and one workpiece without a bolt. What will be produced? We want to produce then a workpiece with three pieces, a bottom part, a top part and a bolt which will be pressed into the workpiece. So we have then two possibilities to produce here. One possibility is without a bolt. Here is a magnet inside. That means this is also a full product. The second possibility is with a bolt which is pressed in and then we have here the second possibility with a bolt, so a complete workpiece. And these two possibilities I want to order now in the web shop. For this I choose now here first the complete workpiece, that means with a bolt and as a second one I choose the workpiece without a bolt. And then I go here to check out and now as you know it from every web shop now we can create a new customer or we make a guest checkout and as you know it yeah, from every web shop and I confirm now the order and this order is sent now to the ERP system and the ERP system send this to the MES and the MES controls now the whole production here. Now we have our bottom part of the workpiece and this bottom part is now picked by the gantry robot and placed to the next station where it gets the top part of the workpiece. The first order was that we ordered a complete workpiece, so with a bolt. So the gantry robot takes now the workpiece and brings it to the next station where it gets the bolt. The bolt is now pressed in the workpiece and the gantry robot takes now the complete workpiece and bring it to the handling station. And the handling station takes the complete workpiece out of the process line. So the second workpiece without the bolt is now picked and placed by the gantry robot directly to the handling station so without to take it to the station to press in the bolts. Now we have here the two complete work pieces, one with bolt and the other one without a bolt. So what we can't choose here is the combination of the color. We only can choose the combination if we want to have it with a bolt or without a bolt. But it is also possible to choose the color if we add some more stations here. So if we choose our complete industry 4.0 production line and put in in the complete industry 4.0 production line the gantry robot then it is also possible to choose the combination of color of the workpiece and then we have more variants in the workpieces. When we developed this gantry robot, it was, very, um, it was very important for us that it is safe. 
That means we don't, we don't need any housing or, or light certain. This is because we move here only in safely reduced speed with a maximum of 25 centimeters per second and also with a reduced torque. Yeah? That means nothing can happen, um, the students can work with it and nothing can happen with the students, it's safety. And, that's, and this is what we wanted to have here in this machine. So I hope you enjoyed it and for additional information you can read it on our homepage. Thank you.